How to go live on Facebook with StreamYard. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you how you can go live on your Facebook with StreamYard. So let's get started. Now StreamYard is an amazing platform that helps you create your professional live streams on all of these amazing platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn and other platforms. So what you have to do is just simply go to StreamYard.com and you will land on this awesome website. What you have to do is just just simply go ahead and type in your email address. I'm going to go with this one and get started. And there you go, guys. You can see that I have logged into my StreamYard. It was super easy and super quick. So once I am in, you can see right here that there are different options. This is pretty simple looking website and you can see this is StreamYard. This is an option of broadcast and destinations. What's going to happen is that you click on broadcast and you will see upcoming broadcast where you can actually create your broadcast right here. And then there is past broadcast that you have already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a broadcast of my own new broadcast or I can actually use a pre-recorded video that I want to live stream. Now you might have seen different YouTubers or bloggers, they go ahead and they put up a pre-recorded video, but it's live. So you can do that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to create new broadcast and add a destination. So now here I have all of these destination options. You can see right here, Facebook page, Facebook group, Facebook profile, and other options as well. We're talking about Facebook right now. So look at this. This is amazing, guys. You can see that Facebook page, Facebook group, and Facebook profile. These three options are given distinguishedly. There are three different options for the Facebook. Now, this means that I can actually go ahead and go live on my Facebook page in a Facebook group or a Facebook profile of my own. And I can actually go ahead and go live on all of these three options at the same time. That's pretty amazing, right? And after that, you can see that there are other options as well. For example, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, or Twitch. So what happens is I can actually, you know, go ahead and go live on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter at the same time as well. Not only Facebook. I can actually go ahead and go live on all of these platforms at once. That's crazy, right? So once you have, you know, selected a destination, let's just say I'm going live on my Facebook page. What I have to do is just simply go ahead and connect to my Facebook so they can get an idea. You know, I have to just give them permission to my Facebook. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect my Facebook real quick. So once you have connected your Facebook and added your page, now this is where we can actually, you know, create our streamline. So this is where we will create our live streams first things first we have to give it a title so let's just say my next broadcast will be how to do videos and after that the description let's just add a description real quick So you can see right here, I have added the title and a little description. After that, you will see this option of schedule for later because I am going to schedule it for later. I'm not going live right now. So what's going to happen is I will click on schedule for later. Now what's going to happen is I can actually do a lot with this now. Upload a thumbnail image. So that's pretty amazing. What I can do is I can simply go ahead and upload a thumbnail image that I have created for my live. For example, you create an image of you and your guest that will be pretty amazing so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and add any image i want to okay let's just say this is my thumbnail image so what i can do is i can actually edit it out a bit so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna apply it right here now this will be the thumbnail image you can go ahead and add the image of your guest of course and of you that will be pretty amazing like thumbnails of a broadcast or you know any of the podcast you see you can actually add images like that after that i'm gonna schedule it for 10 a.m that's pretty good after that i can simply go ahead and click on create broadcast when i do that they will be creating my broadcast and it will just take one moment there you go guys you can see right here that now they have actually you know scheduled my broadcast it was super easy this is how you actually create any broadcast on Streamyard. so what i can do is i 
I can actually enter the studio and I can go ahead and show you how the actually the studio looks inside. So what's going to happen is that I am actually, you know, going to go ahead and allow the mic access. So you can see right here that this is how you actually check out how your studio looks like this is even like this life is not happening this is just for me i can actually you know edit my avatar in here i can actually check how my mic is working i can go ahead and change my display name as well so that's pretty amazing i'm gonna go with the social guide so this is how my display okay got a little spelling mistake there so this is what my name will look like after that i can go ahead to the settings and i can actually do a lot of settings with my camera audio and green screen if i have a green screen and i want to add a video in the background i can do that as well so this is how actually it looks if i want to edit the avatar i can go ahead and upload an avatar that will be you know added to my camera so let's just go ahead and add okay let's put joey right here so what's gonna happen is i can just go ahead and he could be like my avatar for the stream of course you can go ahead and add an image of yourself so that'll be actually pretty amazing instead of you know adding joey as your avatar but this is how it's gonna look and it's looking pretty good so this is how you actually you know kind of like check your camera and mic and everything and after that you can just simply enter the studio once you do that you will be able to see that this is how it looks this is the studio this is the setup that has been set for me this looks so professional and so amazing guys you can see i can actually go ahead and i can prepare everything for my live stream you can see right here i can go with the double check i can go like this i can actually you know if i want the display to be right like this after that the comments will be shown here the banners brand right here if i want to go ahead i can actually change the brand right here after that i will be able to see the comments running through right here this is what my studio will look like if i want to share the screen i will simply click on share and i can share a video file i can share a screen if i want to invite somebody i will simply click on invite and then i can simply leave the studio so this is how actually stream yard works super easy and and super professional and it has made your live streams possible the way you want to the way the professionals do it you can do it too it's it's amazing so yeah this is how you actually go live on facebook with Streamyard. i hope that i was a big help to you and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel